Hi guys and Merry Christmas. Cletus here and thank you for watching Get Out today. Simba and I are out here just cruising around the woods and it is only four days till Christmas and it's 45 degrees outside in central Illinois. Great weather for here this time of year. So we're walking through here and I just got to thinking, you know, it is Christmas time and you know whenever you have a birthday, you get presents, but everybody else doesn't. That got me thinking, during Christmas time, everyone gets presents. And do you know why? Do you know the real reason why everyone gets presents at Christmas time? It is because we are celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And because of that birth, we all have the gift of everlasting life. As long as you believe that He is the Son of God and your everlasting Savior. So I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about this amazing story. So Jesus was born to Joseph and Mary. Now Joseph was just a carpenter and Mary is just a young um, young girl and God saw something in both of them that he wanted them to be the earthly parents of Jesus. So Joseph and Mary were engaged to be married and of course, in those days, um, it was uh, not looked upon well um, to marry someone who was not a virgin. And um, so Joseph and Mary were engaged, and she was a virgin, and all of a sudden, Mary becomes pregnant. Well, they weren't married yet, so you can see where this could be a problem for Joseph and Mary. But you see, this was no surprise to Mary. And an angel had came to her and told her that she would be the mother of a young child and she was to name him Jesus. Well, you can imagine the initial surprise when she told Joseph, knowing that he had not done anything. Um, so his first course thought was probably like, well, what has she been doing? Joseph didn't have to worry for too long because an angel also came to him and told him what had happened to Mary and that he was to be the earthly father of Jesus. He is to marry Mary. Well, you know how people talk. Well, word got out that Mary was pregnant and she was not married yet. So you can imagine how the people reacted and knowing that you were never supposed to have this happen if you're not married. So basically, um, they were being ridiculed and uh, hated upon. But Joseph and Mary both knew what they were instructed to do. Well, the time was drawing near. And all of a sudden, the ruler of the land, Caesar Augustus, called for a census. And so Joseph knew he had to get to Bethlehem with Mary uh, to get to the town of the lineage where he was to be registered. So imagine just for a minute being Mary, a very, very young girl, pregnant. Uh, getting close to nine months, having to be drugged from town to town to get to Bethlehem by donkey and by foot. This would not be a comfortable situation. But Mary and Joseph alike, both understanding the significance of what's going on, pressed forward to Bethlehem. So very tired and late at night, they finally arrive to Bethlehem and they see an inn. So they're going to go 
check out the place and see where they can go to rest for the night. Have you ever been traveling all day uh, just to try to get somewhere? You finally find a hotel, you wanna crash for the night, you get in there and they tell you that there's no vacancy, you've gotta move on. Imagine being a young, scared, pregnant girl that has walked and rode a donkey all day to get here, to be told that, I'm sorry, there is no place for you to stay. Well, Bethlehem wasn't very big, and they couldn't just go type in the nav to find the next hotel or the next town. She was in labor, and she was going to have this baby now. They needed a spot to go immediately. So as they were walking away from the inn, they spotted a barn. And Joseph knew this is the best that they were going to find. So he took Mary and the donkey and he went inside this dirty old barn with other animals already in there. You can imagine what it's like to be in a barn in the winter time with stabled up animals in there. And if you've ever had a child, you know how scary that is. Even being in a hospital, uh, with all the no doctors and nurses around to aid is still very, very scary. And uh, you just never know what's gonna happen. And that's from the husband's point of view. Just imagine for a moment being the woman getting ready to have that child. Well, here they are in a dirty barn, no medical facility, it's not clean, Mary doesn't get any epidural to ease the pain, and labor starts. And so through God's grace and protection, they had a perfect baby boy, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that is why we celebrate Christmas, because He is the gift to the entire world. Have a Merry Christmas, everyone. Be safe out there. And hope to see you next year for some more Get Out. For other great biking and hiking kayaking videos, please click right down here. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel right up here. See you next time.